Hi students, my name is Jatin Diwan and in this lesson we are going to be studying about biotechnology and its applications. So as you've watched in my earlier video, we talked about biotechnology, its principles and processes and this is in coordination and correlation to the previous lesson. So the biotechnology has various applications in different various different areas. Therapeutics, diagnostics, genetically modified crops for agriculture, waste treatment, processed food, energy production, and bioremediation. As we know, plants, bacteria, fungi, and animals whose genes have been altered by manipulation are called genetically modified organisms or GMO. There are several advantages of gen genetic uh, modification in plants like crops are made more tolerant to abiotic stresses like cold, draught, uh, salt or heat. They are uh, helped to reduce post harvest losses, harvest losses, increased efficiency of mineral usage by plants, enhanced nutrition value of food like example of uh, vitamin A and enriched rice. Then applications of biotechnology in agriculture would include three main strategies are included in here agrochemical based uh, agriculture, organic agriculture, genetically engineered crop based agriculture. Let's have a look of genetically engineered crops. Those have uh, desirable genes like insect pest resistance better yield incorporated in them then genetically modified crops will be the ones which are insect and pest resistance. They're more tolerant to abiotic stresses such as cold, drought, heat, salinity, etc. Reduce post harvest losses, enhance nutritional value and efficient mineral usage by plants. Now let's talk about Bt cotton. Some stains of Bacillus thuringiensis uh, produce proteins that kill certain insects such as lepidoproteins which are present in tobacco, budworm, armyworm or coleopterans which are present in beetles and dipterans which are in flies and mosquitoes. So Bt forms uh, protein crystals during a particular phase of their growth. These crystals contain a toxic insecticidal protein. These proteins are present in an inactive protoxin form but become active toxin in the alkaline pH of the insect gut. The activated toxin binds to the surface of midgut epithelial cells and creates pores that cause cell swelling and lysis and eventually cause death of insect. Specific Bt toxin genes were isolated from Bacillus thuringiensis and uh, genetically transferred to several plants such as cotton. Crystal proteins are produced by a gene called CRI in Bt. So the protein coded by genes CRI IAC and genes uh, and CRI 2AB control the cotton ballworms. The protein coded by gene CRI 1AB or IAB controls the corn borer. Then the pest resistance plant. And then these have uh, several nematodes parasite uh, like a variety of plants and animals including human beings a nematode infects the root of tobacco plant and causes a great reduction in yield so uh, the strategy is based on rna interference like that is also known as rnai which prevents the infestation process by which double stranded rna which is also known as dsrna direct sequence specific d gradation of mRNA. There are several processes which are uh, involved in the RNA interference that is double stranded RNA is produced and uh, then using agrobacterium vectors nematode specific genes were introduced into the host plant. Introduction of DNA produces both sense and antisense RNA in the host. These two RNAs being complementary to each other form a double stranded RNA. Then that gets initiated and then the double stranded RNA is injected into the host plant from outside called exogenous double stranded RNA. Now this double stranded RNA are cleaved in 21 to 23 NT segments and then uh, by an enzyme called DICER.
so now this becomes siRNA these are incorporated into RNA induced silencing complex which is also called as RISC then it is further guided by co base complementary of siRNA the RISC target The RS, uh, RISC targets mRNA for degradation. The consequence was that the parasite could not survive in transgenic host. The biotechnological applications in medicine. So the genetically engineered insulin. Insulin used for diabetes was extracted from pancreas of animals such as cattle and pigs. Insulin from them caused some patients to develop allergy or certain type of reaction. Insulin is synthesized as a pro-hormone which consists of an extra stretch called a C-peptide which is not present in mature insulin and is removed during maturation into insulin. In 1983, Eli Lilly, an American company, prepared two DNA sequences corresponding to A and B chins of human insulin and is introduced the, uh, to the plasmids of E. coli to produce insulin chains. Both the chains were produced separately, extracted and combined by creating disulfide bonds to form human insulin. So this is what the structure of human insulin looks like. Now the most important topic of this lesson is gene therapy. Gene therapy is a collection of methods that allow the correction of a gene defect that has been diagnosed in a child or embryo. Genes are inserted into a, pe a person's cell and tissue to treat the disease. The first clinical gene therapy was given in 1990 to a four-year-old girl with ADA, that is adenosine deaminase deficiency. The enzyme is required for the breakdown of deoxyadenosine into uric acid. In the absence of ADA toxic deoxyadenosine uh, is accumulated and destroys the infection fighting immune cells called T cells and B cells. The disorder is caused due to the deletion of gene for adenosine demyonase in chromosome 20. So uh, then molecular diagnosis would include the early detection of disease which is not possible by conventional methods that is serum or urine analysis so molecular diagnos uh, diagnosis uh, techniques are required they have uh, recombinant DNA technology PCR and ELISA involved in them there is very low concentration of a bacteria or virus which can be amplified and detected by PCR and it is used to detect genetic disorders PCR is used full to mutation in genes in suspected cancerous patients a single stranded DNA or, or RNA tagged with radioactive molecule which is also called a probe is allowed to hybridize to its complementary DNA in a clone of cells followed by detection using autoradiography the clone having mutated gene unable make complementary bonding of probe hence does not appear in photographic films then the transgenic animals animals that have alien DNA which are capable of uh, expressing in it is called transgenic animals reasons for creation of uh, transgenic animals would include normal physiology and development study of disease then biological product vaccine uh, safety chemical safety testing so uh, how the genes would be regulated how the genes affect normal functioning of the body how the growth and development takes place is all under the normal physiology and development study of diseases would include how the transgenic animals are designed to understand how genes contribute to development of disease like cancer cystic fibrosis and Alzheimer's Biological products would mean that the prote proteins required for uh, PKU and cystic fibrosis. Transgenic cow rosy produce human protein enriched milk, which is 2.4 gram per liters. Human alpha lactalbumin. 
In vaccine safety, the transgenic mice are being developed and used in testing the safety of vaccines before they are used for humans. Polio vaccine is tested in mice first. The chemical safety testing would include the transgenic animals are made to know the effect of toxic chemicals. This is also known as toxicity and safety testing. There are several ethical issues involved. GEAC, which is Genetic Engineering Approval Committee, set up by the Indian government, which will make decisions regarding validity of GM research and safety of introducing GM organisms for public services. A patent is the right granted by a government to an inventor to prevent others from commercial use of his invention. Patents get granted for biological entities and for products derived from them. These patents are called biopatents. 27 documented varieties of basmati are grown in India. Biopiracy is the term used for uh, referring the exploitation or patenting, the use or exploitation of patenting, uh, patenting of biological resources by multinational companies and other organizations without proper authorization from countries and people concerned without compensatory payment. I hope you all understood this lesson well. If you have any doubts or any other further questions, please comment below and don't forget to follow me. Thank you.